Hey, we're here to talk to you today about bringing two of the most powerful combiners to Earth Wars, Volcanicus and Predaki. So, if you played our Quintesson saga, at the very end of the story, Snarl and Hunger drop a bit of a hint about a future combiner that might be coming. We came up with a design we were really happy with and then we sent that to uh, Hasbro. Yeah, and, and to our surprise, we found that they're actually working on a Dinobot combiner themselves. And they send us a name and they say, hey, here's an early look at the toy, let's yeah. make it happen together. And we thought, what a great opportunity to uh, sync up with both the new toy and the game at the same time. And thanks to this, we've got the first digital uh, iteration, first digital version of Volcanicus coming out in Transformers Air Force. Indeed. So this is going to be the first time that you get to see Volcanicus fully transform and it's a pretty unique transformation sequence. Yeah, especially uh, I really like uh, the way Grimlock kind of jumps into position taking the lead. And also on the transform back we've got certain Dinobots kind of rolling away which I really, really like because it adds character and personality of the Dinobots during the transformation. For every Dinobot or Predacon that combines together, you've got to figure out where you're going to fold various elements, how to make them look streamlined, how to make them look as awesome as possible in battle. And if you want to find out more about this, you can check out our other art video on the making of the combiners. So the gameplay of the new combiners is completely unique. They have three new abilities that haven't been seen before. Yes, and uh, we also gave them weapons, so we gave them swords, these are the first combiners to wield um, a weapon on the battlefield. Yeah. And the swords themselves are epic, and these are the ones that actually uh, come with the toys, the respective toys. Volcanicus' sword is just mad. So we've got three brand new abilities. The first one is the jump. That allows you to jump really far into the base and cause damage. Absolutely, and you do want to do that because the health and damage of these new combiners is quite high. You follow it up with a flamethrower attack, dealing substantial damage in a large area around your combiner. There's, and There's generally a fiery theme across all of these abilities. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, the third one is um, the Meteor Strike, and that is the piece of resistance. That is where, where the name Volcanicus really comes through. We've got Meteors bombarding an area anywhere you choose on the map and that actually deals four times the damage to the walls. So against certain bases, uh, this will be a highly effective strategy. So what do you need to play with that new combiner? You need to be HQ8 and you need to have got the combiner lab. Uh, you need to have got three star versions of all the bots. And also, uh, it might be possible that you will get a glimpse of how uh, these combiners play. If you uh, check some of our events uh, coming in game, we'll have a saga um, written by Simon Furman that will feature Volcanicus and Beta King, allowing you to play them early on. Yeah, we're looking to also have a news feed that links to a special playable preview uh, of the combiners, so keep your eyes peeled for that in the game. I think my favorite part about working on combiners is bringing something out in the Transformers universe that's never been done before. And whilst it's been a real honor to work with all the existing characters, it's even more fun to work on a new one. Thanks for watching today. We hope you enjoy trying combiners in game as much as we enjoyed making them. And we've got loads of more video content available and you can always tune into our Thursday streams. Thanks a lot guys and catch you later. See ya.